yesterday. The new ETF named Buzz wants to ride the Reddit trading revolution. A hedge fund. No. A Looking to cash in on the hype around online stock promotion, Van Eyck Associates Corp. is starting a new exchange-traded fund that's purposed to track the 75 most favorable mentioned companies on the internet. Launching on Thursday, the Van Eyck Vector Social Sentiment ETF ticker Buzz follows an index that scours online sources including social media, news articles, and blogs for equity-specific messages and posts according Moose to a statement from the Pond Pond Pond. Pond. Oh my cheered. god. X100. Sorry, I'm addicted to this. Need it once a day to get my fix. Why, 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 One eternity later. Okay, that's enough of that. We're in the middle of a YouTube video here, Moose. We're trying to make YouTube videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, we're live five days a week, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. EST. Come check us out. Twitch.tv backslash Rancorp. Fuck you, Moose. Fuck you. As if to underline the fund's roots in the retail investing boom that has swept Wall Street in the past year, Dave Portnoy, founder Barstool Sports, promoted the ETF in a Twitter video on Tuesday. Twitter, Reddit, StockTwits, and dozens of other platforms have established communities for investors to, dis to discuss stocks. Ed Lopez, head of the ETF product for Van Eyck, said in a statement, as a result of soaring online engagement, they've become an alternative data set for investors to scour and utilize for performance edge. That's very interesting. I mean, it seems very realistic to me that if you can scour the internet and find the sentiment from people and you're able to, you know, kind of get ahead of the move from the weekend or whatever, maybe over the evening into the next morning. I feel like there is a play there. Exactly how well the fund will capture the hottest trends is a matter for debate. The ETF follows the Buzz Next Gen AI US Sentiment Leaders Index, whose criteria for the inclusion of a stock include a minimum market capitalization of $5 billion and the breadth and diversity of conversation surrounding a share, which is screened for over a 12-month period. As a result, something like GameStop Corp., which was famously surged more than 1,600% in January, Driven by investors from Reddit platform Wall Street Bets, do not currently do not currently feature in the index. Huh. Twitter, DraftKings, Ford are currently the top names in the gauge. That's pretty interesting. Let's look at Twitter. Let's look at the Tweeter. Tweeter. Let's look at Tweeter over a year. Tweeter over a year's done good. Ford, doing real good. We like Ford. We hold Ford ourselves, so we're happy for that. Leave LeBron, thank you for that. Thank you for the follow. What else was it? DraftKings. We do like DraftKings, but we don't hold any. Oh, $68. We should be holding with DraftKings from a low of 17. Oh, my God. Huh. Similar ETF tracking the same index launched in 2016 called the Buzz US Sentiment Leaders ETF. It closed in 2019 with just $8.8 in assets. So they're trying to reopen it now. They're trying to reopen something that failed. Is that what's happening? This is interesting, but it's because it's the same Van Eyck fund that's doing the Bitcoin ETF. So this Van Eyck is really trying to, like, stay with it. Moose you know? horse punda score cheered. X100. Everybody yes. watching this shit on YouTube, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and leave your comments below. Hell yeah, Moose. Welcome back, baby. What? Ooh, that's right, YouTube. But tell me the companies. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Index Holdings, Tesla, Apple, Virgin Galactic, AMD, Amazon, Twitter, Facebook, Plug Power, Ford Motor, Novavax, DraftKings, Netflix, American Airlines, Microsoft, Zoom, Pfizer, Pinterest, Moderna, Boeing, Walt Disney, Penn National Gaming, Snap, Square, Semiconductor, NVIDIA, Intel. Wow, this is actually, dude, I'm about to buy the fuck out of this. I'm all in. I'm all in. All in this tomorrow. Nicola's in here. Fuck. <sighs> Why is Nicola in here? GE is in here. Google, Peloton. Uh, I don't want any Peloton. PayPal, Beyond Meat, I guess I'll take Uber, Johnson & Johnson, Salesforce. <laughs> JP Morgan, Barrett Gold, Roku. 
Exxon Mobil. I don't really want Baird Gold. Oh my goodness. AT&T. Qualcomm. Digital Turbine. Apps is in here. Apps is in here. Oh my fucking God. Apps to the moon, dude. Goldman Sachs Group, Shopify, Enphase Energy, Carnival Corp, Teladoc, Cody, Bank of America, Walmart, Fastly, Coca-Cola, Zenga Games, BlackRock, Visa, Morgan Stanley, IBM, TG, Wells Fargo, Etsy's in here, Cleveland Cliff, Simon Property Group, Starbucks, Hyatt, Cloudflare, Caterpillar, Crispers in here, Activision Blizzard, Gilead Sciences, Chewy, and Seagate. There's going to be a fair amount of movement in and out of the index. Here's the changes that were made in February. What's in? Semiconductors, Qualcomm, Coca-Cola, Cleveland Cliff, Simon Property, Starbucks, Caterpillar, Activision. What's out? FedEx, FireEye, Micron Technologies, Dropbox, CrowdStrike, Nike, Canopy Growth, Costco Wholesale, Trade Desk, Best Buy, Citigroup. Lots of funds launched are supported by back test that indicates funds usually have performed very well over time. Buzz is no different. But like if you back test us, we are doing way better since the end. But no better in the in the past. But really no better in the past. They can only say they did it for a year. Oh my god. There's also the crowd invest wisdom ETF that actually let investors choose which stock would go into the portfolio. Through the use of a mobile app, it lasted all of five months before it was shut down due to lack of interest. Oh my god, it won't be the first time that a well-known name ties itself to an ETF either. Quincy Jones Screaming Music and Media ETF was filed with the SEC back in 2017, but it never got approved as far as I know. How does the selection algo control for the ETF social media trends trying to capitalize on it? At first blush, this seems like it presents some serious conflicts. Why, Jen? Thank you. That's kind of true. Like, you could pump things on social media knowing it would pump the ETF. Look at what they show from that link. They only show, like, the past year where it's really killing it. They don't show how it was, like, dead tied with the S&P 500 before that. Interesting. I think I'm out. I think I'm out. I think we can move faster than them. They're, like, a month behind, right? Thank you for watching the YouTube videos. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button subscribe comment down below help us out with the youtube algorithms and we're live five days a week on twitch 7 a.m to 2 p.m est come check us out thanks for watching